San Antonio, Texas. Yes, sir. So what we're going to do with this tool in this specific instance is we're going to figure out the booking lead time, which is going to tell you where do you want 50% occupancy. Okay. For example, and pay attention. We're going to have a quiz in a second. <laughs> okay. Should we do this listing here? We can do whichever. That one is the one that I'm way more interested in because that one is it. I think that will make me more money. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I, my apartment's giving a lot of money too. The small places give you this revenue. Yeah. So here's the dashboard. They just read. They just redid this to make it a little more simpler. So that one is like the Airbnb smart pricing, but better. Yeah. They all. They all fit onto. You, you can think of them all as you know. There's. There's intelligent pricing, some kind of intelligence going into pricing. And that could be like you, Luis, just knowing your market and thoughtfully changing your prices. It could be Airbnb smart pricing. It could be a tool like Beyond Pricing, Price Labs, a wheelhouse, and a few others. Okay. So I'm just going to click out all of this because I'm very familiar with what's going on here. So what we will do is they recommend a base price at first. They say 540. That will be changed. We will change that. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at these prices for November and tell me if they're more or less accurate. Yeah, they're pretty accurate. Okay. That's first step. Don't dwell on the base price. You're going to have to change. Oh, and wow. you, if it's too low, you're going to get a lot of bookings and you're going to raise it. If it's too high, you're not going to get a lot of bookings. You're going to lower it. That's just how it works. That's as simple as it is. The next step is minimum price. What's your minimum price? I mean, for that listing, it will be 400. Now, just to clarify what the minimum price is, the minimum price is the price that you're willing to accept. It's not a nice to have price. It's not a price that you would like to get. It's actually the price, the minimum, absolute minimum price you were willing to accept if the other alternative was vacancy. To put some more calculations on that, what a minimum price really is, is all of your fixed costs, mortgages, all of your variable costs, yeah. utilities, plus a little bit of profit. The minimum will be 350. Yeah, 350 for sure. Okay. In general, the minimum is, is around half the base price in general. But 350 is fine. We'll go with that. I can see that 350 is lower than the lowest prices there they have on here already. So that's good. The, okay. low, the minimum should really only come into play with bookings within the next week and slow season. Okay. All right. So we're going to save and refresh that. And what I'm also going to do next is I'm going to go into a, a neat tool called All the Rooms Analytics. And unfortunately, I never remember my login, but I was just using this yesterday. Let's see if I'm already logged in. What do you have your listings, man? I manage a few listings in the U.S., in mm -hmm. Florida, in California right now. And then this one that I own is in Colombia. San Antonio, Texas. Yes, sir. So what we're going to do with this tool in this specific instance is we're going to figure out the booking lead time, which is going to tell you where do you want 50% occupancy. Okay. For example, pay attention. We're going to have a quiz in a second. <laughs> okay. So if we see that your booking lead time is 20 days, mm -hmm. that means that 50% of your bookings come from 21 days and further, and 50% of your bookings come 20 days and sooner. So right around 20 days, we want about 50% occupancy. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So we'll go down here and see it booking lead time. And usually it's around 10 to 30 days something like that. And we like to do the last year because there's usually different lead times depending on the season. All right. So this is telling me that the booking lead time, I'm also going to do it's a four bedroom. So I also want to just see if there's any differences. We can use these as well. We'll see if there's any differences with like uh, entire place. I think it changes. Let's see. Yeah, it does. That's cool. So entire place, six booking, six day lead time. And yours is a four bedroom. I'm just so doing five, five bedroom. We might not have 100 active listings isn't so many. So I might, depending on what the booking lead time says, I'm going to click four as well and just see if it changes significantly what's going on here. All right. So eight days. I actually don't like with the, the booking lead times have come down. So eight days, that's actually consistent with a lot of my bookings as well. But it's, it's pretty risky to wait for 50% of your bookings to come in within eight days. So I like to do like minimum 15 or even 30, to be honest, if you're getting a high price. But let's assume, let's just keep it for the for the sake of this answer, for the sake of this example, eight days. I'm sorry, I just have a question. When it comes to 
when it says like eight days, it's, it's meaning that in eight days, are the, are the, I mean, counting two days, for example, in the next eight days to the 20, uh, to the 30th, right? I should be getting 50% of my bookings for that specific listing, apparently. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Now it's it's dependent on where your listing is at. It's an average number. It's an average number, but we have listed it. We have spe specified entire places, four and five bedrooms. But yes, that's yeah. exactly what the number communicates. Okay. So if we take that number at eight, again, in a real in a real example, I wouldn't. I would do like fifteen days at my fifty percent mark. But let's assume yeah. eight. That seems more normal. Yeah. Okay. Let's do fifteen then. Let's do fifteen. So if we're at 15, what we want to do is go back to, we want to go back to price lab and we want to change. These are the occupancy, these are our occupancy goals. We're going to change it to like seven days, 15, and we can keep that at 60. That's fine. So we'll update the metric dashboard. What do they refer by column one and column two? The dates? And let me go back. Oh yeah, I'll show you. Column one, column two, column three, I'll show you. Oh, hey, can I ask you a favor? Click the red subscribe button below and the bell next to it for notifications because it will make me very happy and encourage me to make more videos. Thank you. That's here now. Column one, so seven days. So your occupancy in seven days um, is 72%. Your occupancy in 15 days is 87%. It could be 87% open or 87% uh, occupied. So today is the 22nd. Yeah, so you're, that's correct. And your occupancy the next 60 days is 45%. So the market is probably going to say less. You're probably, you're almost guaranteed over, over occupied. So what we want to do is at this 15 day mark, we want this number to be about 50% and really 40 to 60%, something like that. Not more. You can do more. What, what you would be doing if you want more is it's, it's just, uh, it's less risky. It's more conservative. You'd okay. rather just be booked higher at lower prices. That makes you comfortable. That's, that's okay. Yeah, but that wouldn't make any sense at the end of the day. I mean, I'd rather get less bookings, but with more money. Yeah. I think in my logic, that will be better. Yeah. And my strategy optimizes for both occupancy and revenue. This strategy is, is optimized. Your, yeah. your reference for 40 to 60%. Yeah. Here, I'll okay. show you, I'll show you my, okay. So I'm going to go to my price labs and show you what my dashboard looks like. All right. This one's a good one. This one I, is one that I just started managing. It's in Gainesville, Florida. It's not a hot market. It's, it's uh, it barely gets bookings, but this is what my listing health looks like. And it's about 30 days out. They have events, football games and whatnot. So it's a little bit further out. So there's 54%. So, and the market's 45. So this is basically perfect listing. I mean, at this rate, 30%. You Seven, actually get really good revenue, even mm -hmm. though you don't get a lot of bookings? Well, for the market, there's just not a lot of demand outside of the events, the weekend football games and a few other things. Now we're seeing some bookings pick up for her because so part two of this is customizations and you do customizations based on noticing patterns, booking patterns. And because I noticed that she wasn't getting booked, uh, if, if she wasn't booked you know, around a month away, she wasn't getting booked. So I had added actually a 40% gradual discount within the next three weeks. Okay. And what I also did is I noticed that you can see she's booked here in November. You can see she's booked on all the weekends, almost all the weekends. Oh yeah. But Monday, yeah, Tuesday, sure. Wednesday, and then Sunday is like 50, 50, if whether or not they extend to Sunday. Yeah. So what I did is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I lowered the, the price by 15%. Thursday, I lowered it because Thursday is also like 50-50. Thursday, I lowered it just by 10%. Friday, I increased it by 15. Saturday, increased by 15. And Sunday, only an increase by 10. And it does, I mean, Price Labs does that automatically? Price Labs does it based on the neighborhood, the day of the week, the seasonality, events. They don't do it based on your specific situation. No, I know, but I mean, that's what you, that you don't have to do it manually. I mean, they give you those options, you apply those options to prices and they're gonna be changing the prices themselves. The only thing that you're gonna be changing is your base price and your minimum, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, and customizations. Okay. So we'll look at, this is a Monday here. So we're huh? seeing the uncustomized price is 286. <clears throat> you can see towards the top of that chart, minus 15% is 243. So that's the only customization I have here Okay. because it's more than three weeks out. But if we go to like the eighth year, if we go to the eighth year, we're also going to see, so uncustomized price 267, now it's 200, 15%. And we're also seeing last minute factor, an 8% discount for the last minute factor. Okay. And if we go here, it's going to be like 9% or something. Oh no, it'll, it'll, it'll go down 6% and then 
5%, 4%. So that makes sense. And then if we go to like today, it'll be 40% discount tomorrow. It'll be last minute factor, 38% discount. 22nd, it would be 40%. Would it show that in Airbnb that we're going to be having a discount or it's just in price labs that you're going to be able to see it? Just in price labs. Okay. So it's not like another marketing strategy for them to be like, oh, I'm going to get a discount. Let me book that. Well, Airbnb actually took that away. Let me show you a listing if I have one up here. So nowadays, Airbnb doesn't really show you actually cleaning fee and occupancy tax and discount. They just show you one number. They okay. do they do testing, so actually it changes depending on what location. But it seems like they're they're that they preferred to do it like this without showing the details. So let's see if we have a week here. We'll go to December. Oh well, here it does. Okay, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Now they've changed it back. So this weekly Sorry. discount is in in my account on Airbnb. I have this weekly discount. Okay, it's not in price labs. Yeah, for the weekly and monthly discounts, I I suggest you keep it in Airbnb. But if but any any other discounts, last minute discounts, do it in Price Labs. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll go back to Price Labs. So here's your customizations, which you can do. Don't do too many customizations. Only do customizations when you when you're when you know what they do and you're confident that they will increase your occupancy because they're based on the patterns that you've noticed. I see a lot of times, like the listing that I just took over, she or some listing that I recently worked on, there was like. 10 different customizations and you have to basically be an expert to know that because you have to understand what customizations are working at what time which ones are being applied and which ones aren't and there's basically no situation where you're going to need 10 customizations if you need 10 customizations price labs is not the right tool for you let me go to the playlist i'm just going to send you this here for your future reference and then i'll give you a, a, a overview of what we talked about and will be done for, for today so here's the playlist for price labs numerous things 12 videos they tell you what to do on a weekly basis they tell you about all the customizations the layout has changed like i said but the names are still consistent. Uh, do they go in order? No, they're not in order. You just just look at the titles and, and view whichever one makes sense for you. Okay. All right, so we have your listing here. You're, you know your your username and and, uh, and password. You know what these numbers mean now. Okay, this is, the, so what you wanna do, what you wanna focus on is base price. If your 15 day occupancy goes down, then you want to lower the base price. If your occupancy is high, you want to raise the base price. That's how it works. So should, should I raise the price or should I leave it like that? What I would do is just as, because you've just signed up, I would just leave it like this. Okay. Leave it like this for a week, get familiar with what's going on, and then look at the playlist. If it gives you some curiosity, last minute discount, these are the most popular ones. Last minute discount, you can highlight that. Probably you need to add a last minute discount. I have a last minute discount with all of my listings. The, pre the tool doesn't do a good job of lowering the price enough for bookings coming within the next week. Uh, when, is gonna be, when is price going to be changing the, uh, the prices or whatever I do when it comes to discounts in there? I mean, how long does it take? Once a day at midnight. Okay, so if I make changes right now, they're gonna the changes are gonna be made today at twelve a.m. Or you can press sync now, and they'll they'll be pushed right now, which I will do right now. Okay, yeah. So now these prices in just thirty seconds will be on your Airbnb, and from the future, if you want to change the base price, just click save and refresh. Midnight, it will update. Okay, I mean, but what does the difference make? For, I mean, I'll just rather press sync now. Yeah, you can do that. The only difference is if you're making a lot of changes for the customizations, you can only sync now like once every five minutes or so. I get it, okay. And you can save and refresh whenever, yeah. All right, then I'll give it a try.